uh -huh. um, where they do their military, do their drills or whatever. And then straight ahead is the flight line. And we most of most of the flights that go in and out of Scott are DV flights, D distinguished visitors. Oh, okay. So like congressmen. Uh -huh. um, uh, the you know we have three or four four-star generals here at Scott, and so they're in and out with their entourages. Sometimes you'll get the cargo planes in here. Uh -huh. um, it's rare, but a lot like when a hurricane hit. Yeah, I don't remember what year, but like Charleston evacuated all their um, heavy airlift planes here. You uh -huh. know, so there's not a lot going on. It's mostly just distinguished visitor gotcha. flights coming in and out of here. So this is the main, the original main part of the base, and then so the housing that you saw is the his, uh, heritage housing. The histo this was the original. You know, this is historical. Uh -huh. These houses over here, and I love them. I think they're gorgeous. They are. Him <laughs> I can't always see him. <laughs> what about the stuff on this table? I wonder. <laughs> not so fancy it's not formal and the boys were allowed to come in in fact this is where they come after dinner and not only were the boys in here oh let me explain something real quick we're in 1860 1860 remember baby Bob the little nine month old when they moved in he's 18 years old now that's a long time ago they've been living here and he's not living here now he's gone to college he's at Harvard University remember that okay and so who's here well Eddie passed away and William is here and Thomas William, they call him Willie. He's 10, and Thomas is his little brother. They call him Tad or...
The concept is real simple. It's, it's, it's a latrine. You dig a hole in the ground and you're going to do a bathroom there. Well, you put a little building over it, and normally you don't build the back half of it. There's open. Well, that's over the hole. And then you build a box over that. Long box. box. Over yeah, it, yeah. over that. And then you cut a hole or two or three, and you sit on the box in the bathroom. In 1800s, that's also trash. We don't have trash pickup. There's no garbage man or trash man. There's no incinerator. Pigs are in the street, that's your food waste, the pigs eat. Mm -hmm. A broken dish, an empty can, a pistol that doesn't work, all that, everything goes Into the privy. Which, over time, it fills up with night soil. <laughs> that's what they called it, <laughs> night soil. And eventually, uh, it gets full, and you either pay night soilmen to come clean it out, or you dig a new hole and move it. Most people just did that. Take this dirt, cover that up, it's good. Pretty soon it goes back to dirt. Archaeologists love to dig privies. Because it's, it's historical, the deeper you go, the older it is, and there's sometimes items are in pristine condition, but you learn a lot, you learn an awful lot about it. Now, this one's unique. It was from here in Illinois, it's, it's made with barrels. Those go down into the ground, the hole does, but it's not a box to sit on. Why would they have barrels? That's my question. Why barrels? I don't know the answer. It's very logical, very practical. Well, it doesn't tip over. Yeah, yeah well, but the box wouldn't either. Frankly, the box don't tip over. Let me tell you. Do they make you ale or something here? You know Do they make ale or wine no, here? No, 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 no. <laughs> Not in there. <laughs> no, the reason for that is because of you girls and your big hoop skirts. Oh. Isn't that cool? That was very accurate. And how practical. They were dumb. And so practical. Dumb. No soiling of the hoop skirts. Yeah. And think about a flat surface and trying to lift all yeah. that up. With, maybe with the hoop on even. When you're doing housework, you'd take the hoop off, mm -hmm. but you're still in in five or six layers. Yeah, if you want length, because they're going to have clotheslines in their garden and uh, fruit trees. Lincoln's had two apple trees. If those are persimmon trees in the neighborhood. Those are living, they're about 100 years old, and there's still some fruit, they still bear fruit. I've never in my lifetime seen a fruit tree that tall. What kind of tree is it? Persimmon. Oh. Do they still produce? Yes, they do. Oh, there's still some hanging up there that turn, they're not going to They look like little pumpkins. You're reading the persimmon? Oh, yeah. They're famous to, for being sour. Yeah. You want to know the fun thing? You got time for another fun thing? Yeah. As much time as you have. Here's a photograph of the back of the house. Listen carefully. This is the photograph. That is the house. Are you with me? Okay. It's getting done. Um, <laughs> there's an object in the photograph that's also on the house stand. The one on the house is a reproduction, but in the photograph it's original. So when the Lincolns were living here, at least in 65, this thing was there. And the archaeologists say they don't know what they is. So I enjoy asking people. That. Looks like a bird feeder to me. <laughs> it does, but they didn't feed birds back then. Didn't care about birds. birds are on their own. <laughs> birds got plenty of horse robins to take care of. Not to mention it costs money to feed them. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a great guess. That's what it looks like. Now, I'll give you a hint of what I think. I have an opinion. I don't believe, it's hard to tell, but I don't believe there was a bottom to it. I think it was the two sides and the slim top. Now, could the boys reach that? You know, so, like having a tin cup hanging up there so they can get a drink out of a well, that wouldn't make sense for them, would it? So, it's out of their reach, if you will. So, what would be something that would be out of their reach? that you wanted to have candy when you came outside and you needed a little bit sheltered so it passed Sure, like a, a bell to call someone in or something? No bell. Okay. Forget about the boys. Oh, no boys. Yeah, out of the boys' reach, so it's not something intended for the boys. Okay. Adults only. Right. But when you go outside, 
they got my pipe, pipes in here. What are they doing outside? Well, they come out to the bar and they go to the privy. What would you like to have? How about a lantern? Ah. What if that was a little shelter for a lander for Mr. Lincoln when he came out to get the horses ready earlier to feed them or to go to the bathroom or take the kids to the bathroom? Makes sense. That's my guess. Okay. I think that's a valid guess. Makes Thank you. sense to me. Thank you. Well, then we're in violent agreement, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to do another tour. Okay. So Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Happy New Happy Year. Happy New Year. I hope year next year's blessed well. and does well for you and you get everything you deserve. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Wasn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't stop. Back up your, uh, there you go, your lens, thank you. Now us. Do me, do me. Special quest, and I need help. Quest. That's why they sent you. The little yes, yes. You see, they work for him. So do I. Him. God. I'm the janitor of God. I know. Yeah. Hey, I know how you feel. They came to me about a year ago. I was sitting on the john, having one of those really satisfying bowel movements. You know those ones that border on mystical? Where you're like... And there they were. <laughs> Hundreds of the cutest little fat people floating right in front of me. It was wonderful. And then they spoke. And they said that I had been chosen to get back something very special that he had lost. It might probably be very dangerous. And I said, whoa, hold it right there. I mean, you start seeing 40 little fat people tell you that you're on a mission from God. <laughs> Just like you're some heavy thorazine. I said... And so that was his 
because they never did regain consciousness after he was shot. So. Hmm. He hung on for about so. I got hurt in toe. Do you have a hurt toe? Somebody up there sleeping. I was looking at the ham. with her boys. Oh yeah. Okay, what's going on? She goes, I just had a great nap. And y'all fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Mine doesn't do that. Yeah. Invite me in. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> She locked the door? Why is the door locked? Come on, man.
that was hot, I think it's gonna stink.